All right, what's up? This is my first video I am doing since leaving religion. Formerly, I was Apostle William Jones. So I have left, totally left religion. So what does that mean? Believing the Bible is the word of God, I don't believe. Believing Jesus is the son of God and all of that, I don't believe. Believing the God Almighty, the whole stories, I don't believe. And I know for many, this is a problem. Let's look at the, let's look at the facts. You know, I, I have learned to deal with facts and not faith. Facts are there. Facts are tangible. Faith is something just, it's just in your head. You can't even produce it. It's just called faith. You believe it? Can you, if you showed up in court with faith as evidence, you lose your case because it's only in your head. It's nowhere else. So, most people don't realize this. Most of you are just one religion away from being an atheist. If you are a Christian, if you lost Christianity, you'd be an atheist. If you're, if you're a Muslim, you lost Islam, you'd be an atheist. You was in Hinduism, you lost that, you'd be an atheist. Unless you jump ship to another religion. But I'm not saying I'm an atheist, but we got titles, atheist, agnostic, deist. I've heard all of them. I've been called all of them, and I really don't care. Whatever. You know, if there is a creator, there could be, I mean, because we are here, things are here, but if there is a creator, I have seen no evidence outside of some book or religion telling me their side of the story who has come forward and said, hey, I made all of this. Worship me. Make songs about me. Meet up on a certain day and talk about me. Have not seen that. And if, and if, and if there was a creator of this magnitude, whether male, female, one or many, they would really clear up a whole lot of mess. If they would just come forward and say, hey, it's me. Show yourself to everyone. To me, it, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking freely. To me, it makes no sense for some creator to make the earth, to make the heavens, to separate the waters, to make the animals, to make uh, quantum physics and put everything in order and then show up to one person, to one person and say, now tell everybody about me. Really? Why don't you tell everybody about you? Wouldn't that be the easier thing if you made all of this stuff? Now why am, all of a sudden am I a factor of everyone knowing who you are? And then spreading one book written by many people with a bunch of contradiction, with different versions, and, and history can back up and show that most of the places didn't exist. Many of the people didn't exist. But you want me to go forward and say these things? Look, the bottom line is this. We got to start thinking. Thinking. The church discourages thinking. They don't want you to think Believe, blind belief, just believe it and that's it. You know, give God the credit for everything good that happens and, and for everything bad that happens, either dump it on the devil or say, you know, God works in mysterious ways or we don't know his plans or they called him home or whatever. You know, God is a God of healing, but I'm watching so many die from cancer, diseases, car accidents, killings, whatever. So praying for stuff and it's going to happen anyway. There's no distinction between the believer and the unbeliever. And what I'm saying is, if you're a Christian, you can't even receive information outside of your belief. You, it, it, you can't, I'm looking, you can't even receive it. You won't Google information. You won't look for anything other than quoting scriptures which, oh, well, watch this, watch this. You devote your life to a religion that you don't know the origin of, you don't know the history of, you don't know all the dogma of, but you've devoted your life to it. You defend a book that you have not fully read, and if you fully read it, 
Have you fully researched it? So I have read the Bible numerous times, and now they're going to say, oh, well, you weren't, this, I'm telling you, it's the same excuses, where I, yeah, you were really born again then. Right. So the same way I was married and then got divorced, I guess my marriage never happened and my kids really don't exist because it didn't last. So the memories I have, the children I have, the grandson I have, none of this stuff exists because now the marriage doesn't exist. It's foolishness. That is foolishness to tell somebody, well, you were never really born again. You never really had the Holy Spirit. You can't understand the Bible unless you have this stuff. Yes, you can. It's just words on a page. It's not that deep. And if you will go into actual history, then you will find out what's going on. But Christians refuse to go outside of the Bible. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. You defend the same thing that enslaves you. And you think you are so free, but you can't believe outside that box. So how free are you? When I came out of religion, you have very little support. Pretty much you have no support. If everybody around you is a Christian or Christian, whatever affiliated, you have no support. I came out with absolutely no support. All I got was people telling me, you're going to hell. Oh, you better go repent, get back right with God, or you're going to hell. Oh, Satan done got your mind, you're going to hell. Which tells me that many of you live by Pascal's wager, that I'd rather serve and, and be wrong than not serve and go to hell. The majority of Christians are the ones who actually serve God for real and not the the 80% the that just claim they're Christians and live like whatever, but the percentage that say that they love God and serve God, you're really serving out of the fact that you don't want to go to hell. You think there is actually a hell that you will burn in fire, and so you serve out of that. I mean, what is it for a God to tell you, I'm going to create you, and you're all in sin, and what I'm going to do is tell you either receive me or burn in hell. Receive me, I love you, or burn in hell. But God, I got a disease and you ain't heal it. Bro, believe me or burn in hell. Bad relationship, believe me or burn in hell. You haven't talked to me, believe me or burn in hell. It's all man-made. I'm sorry to tell y'all it's all man-made. When I started researching history, looking up Herod the Great, who in the Bible, according to... Was it uh, Matthew decreed to kill all of the two-year-old males to find Jesus? It's not found anywhere in history. When I'm looking up the Caesars that existed, Pontius Pilate, all of this, Nazareth was not even a city at the time. Only person missing from history was Jesus. He didn't even exist. And some will say if Jesus did, not even Jesus, because Yahshua, whatever you want to call him, that it was some person who might have been a rebel that died at the hands of Rome and fabricated stories came about, about whatever. I, I'll give you that at the most. Other than that, he didn't even exist. He didn't even exist. You have no proof. Your proof is faith and experience. Experience. If we rode a roller coaster, two people rode a roller coaster side by side and got off the roller coaster, they could get off the roller coaster and you ask one person, how was the roller coaster to you? I was terrified. How was it to you? It was the best thing ever. So y'all rode the same roller coaster, but had two totally different experiences, which is not fact to anyone but yourself. Experience is not fact to everyone else. Experience is only just a feeling and maybe a fact to you. You can't sell experience. And then you want to use the Bible with all of its flaws and everything else, but you haven't even read it. You dispute the Bible, not dispute, you back the Bible, and you haven't even read the entire Bible. It's like I had somebody telling me, you got to go by the entire Bible. 
So we're going to start stoning adulterers. We're going to start stoning homosexuals. We're going to start stoning children that are disobedient. If a man rapes a woman, we're going to allow him to pay the father money and marry her. I mean, really? If a woman, a wife, if a wife sees her husband fighting and grabs another man's genitals, you know, in the fight, we're to cut her hand off. And even if your right hand offends you, cut it off. If your right eye offends you, pluck it out. Are we really going to start living by this stuff? Really? So don't tell me to live by the Bible when you got to cherry pick the things you actually got to live by. So what I'm saying is those of you that are watching this, the Christians already know they're going to shut it off, not even going to watch it. Oh, he's going to hell. Satan got him. Which if you read the Bible, if, if somebody read the Bible unbiased without being told anything, by the time they finish, God would be the enemy. He flooded the earth. He caused the plagues. He killed most of the people. He said, I create evil. And how could Satan be his enemy to the fullest if he created Satan? If God is omnipresent, he's everywhere. He's omniscient. He knows everything. How could he have an enemy that could only be where he is at that time that does so much damage to him? And, and the smart thing would be just wipe out your enemy and carry on your plan. But that's religion for you. So I'm going to cut this one short. I got many more videos to come. This is my first video. I ain't want to say anything for a long time, but I decided to finally say something. I didn't know how or when to do something. It's January 2nd, 2017. And I'm speaking out to those who, just like me, who search the internet, looking for others that came out of religion. You're not doing wrong. Using your mind is not wrong. Asking questions is not wrong. Researching is not wrong. And whoever made up the mess, don't ever question God. That's foolishness. If it's about your life, question it. Research it. And when you get to the bottom, you'll find out Christianity and all these other religions are false. False. So I'll hit y'all back with another video. Get free. Think. Use your mind. Get free.